All right, to you folks, how's it going? How you doing out there, all right? That's good. Well, I'm back. Nob's fucking back, all right? I've been in a bit of a sabbatical, sabbatical, whatever the fuck you call it, and uh, it's been fucking pretty shit. I don't care, I'll give you the backdrop to my fucking life, alright? And uh, you'll see how shit it is. Basically, due to circumstances beyond my control, I had to kind of leave Scotland, right? Which meant I couldn't fucking strut my stuff on the, on the comedy circuit there and take Scottish comedy by storm. Although, granted, they cunt would fucking let me on a fucking stage by the time I'd been on one of their stages, so... That was the reason I kind of had to leave the country in the first fucking place, but anyway... I've been out here, in sunny Turkey, and uh, there's all kinds of rules and regulations that stop an honest man doing an honest day's work. Basically, again, I didn't like to use my legal name. Because it's no fucking mine to use. That's the first problem, right? Because you can, uh, the Crown have the copyright on the legal name, and it's actually fraud when you use it. Try explaining that you into a policeman on several occasions, and you'll see how far you get, because they're all mind control dogs of the establishment that use the legal name to keep the rest of humanity in slavery. You can? So, I've been, uh, plus the fact, you can, then there's the fact on top of that, every job, you can, every normal job, they want you to give the legal name, because that's the system, because the government have to get their tax and all that, you can, the legal extortion for the big game that's going on. So, uh, if I was to give my legal name, then there's all kinds of rules and working permits and all that kind of bullshit that you've got to go through. You've got to jump hoops, okay? So I didn't really go down that path at all. Which basically leaves me out here, okay, because you need money, you need the government bits of paper which are actually fucking worthless. But we pass them on to each other because say, we believe they've got inherent value, but they've actually got fucking zero. <laughs> It's just a piece of paper. It's your belief in the fact that it's got value. I promise to pay the bearer. 20 pounds of sterling, like silver. It's a receipt. We're passing receipts amongst each other. The only thing that's legal tender, actually, in, in the real sense of the word, is coins, Go government print coins. The rest of the fiat paper currency comes from the Federal Reserve and all that, you can. And uh, that's just made up pish fiat currency, uh, just the print off willy nilly. And we pass it around like it's some fucking real. So, <laughs> but you need it, unfortunately, because the, Dini, the government are all very nice to us, aren't they? They didn't go around planting trees with bananas and oranges on for us to pick. No, they plant flowers in the middle of busy highways and that's supposed to be make the place look beautiful to get mere tourism in, to get mere fucking dolly dash at the end of the day. So a man's got to eat. So I kind of turn my heat, my attention, away from comedy and away from talking to you can gen up like, straightforward, coming hardcore. I turned it away from that to try and I got suckered in actually, you get suckered in, you buy one internet marketing product to try and promote yourself and the, and the myth that you're going to actually get somewhere on, online. It's a big myth that you and you can, so you buy one product and then that leads to another. Before you can it, you've got about 50,000 emails piling into your e -box, inbox every day trying to sell you the latest gadget that's going to turn you into a millionaire with only 20 minutes work every day, which is about as much as I can muster. So, needless to say, none of them work, because you just get one and then there's another fucking 50,000 emails in your inbox the next day. You spend most of your life reading emails and checking out offers that you can't afford to buy in the first fucking place. But then you buy them and then you've got a 30 day refund, so then you get your refund after 28 days because you've got to eat. 
and then your mother gives you money and then you just buy some more products and then you refund them so because you've got to eat and I've been doing that for about God at least two years now I've been surviving on mother's handouts and refunds for shitty products that get me fucking nowhere you can and all these internet markers they're all, there's all like top dogs that are all here and I get a laugh at the rest of us chasing around with their tail between their legs begging for any handouts or any scrapes of the imaginary online fortunes that are out there you can we're all suckered into Satan's playground chasing money just for the fucking hell yeah meanwhile they're bringing in the transhumanist agenda where they're going to get all your data and make a basically an avatar of you so they can stick that information into a clone and make us live forever but without any fucking soul just like Obama and George W. Bush and Blair and all that you can Oprah Winfrey, Tiger Woods they're all clones they've all been cloned about three times, five times I don't can and they've got no soul that's how they can pass laws that try to fucking make sure you've got no soul either because you go along with them, you're even worse than them they write the laws, the police enforce their laws, the policy enforcers or the poo lice as I like to call them <laughs> you can, they all enforce the laws but we're worse, we follow their laws and then you tell people about the legal name fraud and uh, they don't want to hear it because that means they'll have to face the consequences of their actions and they're only too keen on that they'd rather blame somebody else blame some politician or they're going to vote James Coburn Fabian socialist into power and he's going to do all the, all the good things that they can do for themselves so it's a satanic playground we're living in this is hell right we're on, we're on this flat earth uh, round earth it's not really any of them, it's a multi-dimensional experience we're all having minute to minute. If I was to pick you know, I'd go for the flat earth with a firman and over the top and uh, this being a hell realm and the heavens above and Lucifer's well in control of this shit. He's all leading us all down the merry path to you know, damnation basically, you can, because none of us live by the Ten Commandments these days, do we? Oh no, we all laugh, we all hate a good laugh at religion. That's who fucked up we've all become. We all think religion's just ha ha ha, those religious types. Because the Vatican and all the cronies and then all the do good or Bible bashers that can just take the word of the Bible literally, they all give uh, religion a bad name. And uh, you can, I'm actually a bit surprised myself, but I think, uh, I don't know kind of Jesus lived or no, right? It's, that's up for debate, right? But, the, the, the story of Jesus, at least if we all like lived up to the Ten Commandments and like followed Jesus' teachings, maybe their true teachings, basically treat each other as if you weren't treated yourself, then he can put up with those who are involved in usury that's who Jesus kicked them all out of the temple didn't he? all the money lenders all the bankers in other words that's what I Iceland have done recently didn't they? Iceland put all their bankers in jail and wiped out all the debt didn't he hear that you know in the news funnily enough <laughs> the news that's a joke because I didn't watch the news so I didn't care what's on the news but I do unfortunately partake in the Facebook fucking pish. That's another CIA data collection minefield that you for a, for the zombies again. I, I, I'm sorry, but you can. Oh, it's like what do you call it? It's an is it a necessary evil? Unfortunately, I, I, you know I just fucking I hate. You probably can. I've not been on it for a while, but I should actually get involved in it. Do you think? I think this video is worthwhile. Do you want to hear more from me is what I'm saying for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to hear more about the actual shit that's going to do? Because I'm tired of keeping my fucking gub shut. I'm trying to be respectful. You can't let everybody can make their own decisions. But 
Some of you just need a good fucking shake, to be honest with you. You just need a good fucking kick up the fucking scrotum. <laughs> you can what I'm saying? That's what you just fucking need. You just need a good slap. <laughs> Wake up and smell the fucking coffee because shit's about to hit the fan. <laughs> right? Aye. Like, you can you hear all the stuff. I mean, shit's only about to hit the fan if you keep going on the same trajectory without actually, it's all changing your imaginations. And like, basically what I'm doing now, because I've had it up to fucking here. We internet marketing fucking schemes and all the rest of it. And I've decided today, fuck it, I'm going to go back to doing what I love. And at least that way, if I get hit by a fucking bus tomorrow, I've left, I've lived my last 20 years doing what I want, and no chasing my tail, trying to make fucking money for businesses that... You can't just chase the money for the sake of it, doesn't it bring any satisfaction in life? Right, let's get that you know, on the table, you can. That's why everyone's so goddamn fucking miserable these days, isn't it? You walk along the street, people are fucking depressed. Why? Because their soul, what's left of their soul, if they can find it in there, it's like screaming out that they can do better than what is there. It doesn't have to be an order follower. But some people, when they're in the midst of their, their programming think they actually enjoy being an order follower, they love being a slave without having to think for themselves. Thankfully, the education system's done a good job with that, Ian. And convincing everybody that just to fucking shut up, get to work, if you're lucky, do your pish, come home, watch some fucking shitty game of football on the TV, because let's face it, Football, you can you watch the highlights and you go, oh, no bad, three minutes of action there. But the other 90, 87 minutes or whatever is fucking bullshit, you fucking tears. And they kind of just separates us. This, the football was founded in 150 years ago in a Freemasonic hall, the rules were drawn up. Does that not tell you anything? Bread and circuses for the masses, as is the fucking Hollywood pre-programming can mind, mass mind control centre and the, the fucking music industry and all the rest of it, you can? It's all a big fucking pile of shit, folks. I could go on about this stuff for hours and hours. In fact, I'm going to start up a membership site, alright, because here's why, another reason why I've been a little bit quiet. Because I can, my stuff can be a bit controversial, you can? and. and I didn't really want to blab off like this all the time to people that didn't want to hear it. So I'm going to create a membership site where you have to give me your fucking email address because that's what I've got to do. Collect your email address so I can start marketing to you. Because to be honest with you, if I, if I had money, right, which makes them all good, we can use that to kind of tear down the establishment. If I had a decent camera and a mic, you can, that could help. Then I could promote, I could get somebody to do something and promote me and fucking we can all empower ourselves so that's what I'm going to do in my membership site come on and I'll talk shit and I'll G you up and I want to see you promoting yourself and doing something different with your life it doesn't have to be what I'm doing but it can be some kind of contribution something that your soul kind of gets satisfaction for you, you, you scream the you, the you joy of being alive. Remember that? Remember as a child? Those of us who were old enough to be born in an age where you didn't have your face in a fucking iPhone for 16 hours a day. You can? I've got a son, right? I've got a son. God help him. You can? And uh, Jesus Christ, Minecraft he's discovered yesterday. I thought he was bad enough when Assassin's Creed and Apollo Creed and I don't know, Ken, what else? Fucking he who dares wins and all that shit. But now he's found Minecraft and he does they come out from under his covers now. He just hides in there with fucking bleeping noises coming out of there. And they try and tell him, look, there's a book. There's a book, son. Try reading that. Look, look. Here's his guitar. I bought my guitar. Will he play that? Hey, does he go near this thing? No, no, neither do I, mind you. That's another thing. If I had money coming in, I can start playing the guitar, getting into that, doing what I really want to do, you can, and uh, make some, I can't sing with a fuck, but we can hear a bit of a laugh and all that, and uh, we could hear some fun, so, 
Do you want me to make more videos? That's what I'm asking you. If you do, go and leave a comment under here. Go and say no, but I go for it, son. Uh, let's create a membership site and uh, we'll all get in there. There's supposed to be a forum available, but it's not available in this bit of kit I've got, right? But anyway, we can start by... I can do a course on the Illuminati. You only do a, a five-part course on the Illuminati. Sell that for five dollars each. And if you like it, you can sell it to other folk and get half the commission. And then we can make money together promoting Nob. How's that for a plan? That sounds no bad, doesn't it? Aye, because I've got lots of poems and I've got like tons of ebooks in me, you can? And, I, and it's so much better than copy and paste and embed codes forever. And all the other shit you have to do, it just it, it drains a life force for you, you can? It's really painful, to be honest, so that's what I'm doing. I actually came in here to make a wee preamble because I was going to go outside with my son and uh, show you around where I live in Turkey. That's another thing I could do. Do you just want to see some of that? Do you want me to go around bits of Antalya and uh, give you a wee tour of the premises? If you want that, write that in the comments. Right? Let's do something here, folks. I'm tired of it. And then there, I could ramble on about other things. You can. I've, got, I've got a list of things up to here about things in general and people and how they're fucking really, really quite annoying. You can. Okay, I, I know you're a people as well, right? You're probably annoying as well, but let's try and all stop, because I'm annoying, I can that, so let's try and stop being annoying and try and do some good in this world before Satan eventually turns us all into clones by googling us up to the max, getting all our profiles and sucking all our, you can, everything out of us and putting it into a wee avatar and transferring our soul into a fucking microchip, because that's coming down the line as well, you just care about that, you know, obviously, aye? And the chemtrails, what do you think they're all for? You okay? This is all part of the transhumanist agenda, and you want to look that word up if you've no heard of that, and go and Google legal name fraud while you're at it. Because actually I went to the local embassy here, and talked to them for 40 minutes about the legal name fraud, and blew that woman's fucking mind. Because she deals with that stuff every day, I'm basically telling her you're committing fraud every time you press your wee stamp thing there. Aye, so let's, I'll, I've probably said enough with this one. Shall we do the rest of this inside the membership area? If you're interested in a no membership site where I'm going to make videos every day and then I'm going to like comment on Ken, Illuminati videos and fucking Beyonce videos. Like here's another one, right? Here's something else. I'll leave you with this one. I was in a kindergarten school bus, right? Didn't ask why, but I was there. And uh, we're going along the street, and they were playing, uh, I don't know, Ken, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Something like that, right? And the woman, the other teacher, the teacher there, she says, oh, this is the up to standards. She's about 19, 20 years old, you can. Changed the fucking sounds, and then this song came on. Yo, bitch, better have my money. Yo, bitch, bitch, fucking bitch, you better have my money, bitch. You bitch, you stole my man, you bitch. You better have my money, bitch, bitch. And that seemed perfectly acceptable for the four and five year olds as we're travelling down the road to the park. You can. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? And you can. I'm quite liberal in a lot of your respects, but you can. Jesus wouldn't have been too impressed with that, and is what I'm saying. And neither of us are. So. Anyway, that kind of stuff. We'll go into the... who sings that? Was it Beyonce or the other one? I don't know, Ken. One of those really annoying bitches, you can? That have been mind controlled and can rate for a young age and all that kind of stuff, you can? The Walt Disney Club need I say more on that, yin. Anyway, you get catch with drift. I've got a lot of shit in here that needs to come out. Are you going to join me, folks? I can, this has been quite long. Believe me, I'm just not even scratched the surface of what I've got in store, but I need some support here. I need some help. I need just to fucking support the knob because I'm tired of being fucking skin and living off cheese and jam and so's my boy, right? Christ knows who I've survived for two years, but uh, I need to fucking 
we need to get together actually so we avoid the, the use of fiat currency altogether and start helping each other grow organic food instead of eating chocolate biscuits so that when the monetary system does collapse we've got a backup plan you can because all the Illuminati have got their billionaires bunkers haven't they all with their jacuzzis and everything ready to plop in the, in the when the fucking third world war kicks off it's all been orchestrated by the Jesuit order and the rest of the Zionists, you can? Right, so, catch you later, eh? Catch you later. Leave a comment if you're up for it. That's what I'm saying, alright? Thanks for listening. Cheers and out. Bye-bye.